Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the trash from October. This is my Beauty Empties products that I've used up, finished up, and I'll just do a little mini review, let you know if I'll repurchase and if what I thought of it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm going to um, show you what I created my eye look with today. And it's this Morphe palette here. And this is the Artistry palette. I think I hauled this in a few hauls ago from... I hauled it a few hauls ago from Ulta as I just dropped it. But anyway, um, that's what it looks like. And I used um, this purpley color here and then the teal color. Then I have this duochrome here and a little bit of this color here in the corner. So that's what I used to create my eye look. Um, my blush is another is Morphe and this is the um, blush palette. I don't know which one this one's called, but it's this one here that has all the cool tones in it. And I have this color here on as my blush. And then my lipstick that I have on. Um, I don't know what brand this is. I'm almost certain that it's ColourPop and it's in the color Scrooge, but that's the lip that I'm wearing. So just thought I would share that. So anyway, let's start with some empties. First from Saturday Skin. One of my favorite Korean um, skincare brands, and now they are being sold at Sephora, but this is the Featherweight Daily Moisturizing Cream. Um, perfect for a daytime moisturizer. It works really well under makeup. I liked the fact that it had this little pump on the end here, so you could just pump the product up. You didn't have to dig your finger down into a... Um, container. Highly recommend the Saturday Skin line. It's a wonderful Korean skincare brand or just a skincare brand in general. Then from Shiseido, I finished a um, sunscreen and this is the Extra Smooth Sun Protection lotion in SPF of 38. I would definitely repurchase this. I have a couple other sunscreens that I'm using right now, but then I'm going to go back to the Shiseido because I just really like that brand of sunscreen the most, and that was for the face. Then for Morphe, I have a setting spray. This is the continuous setting spray. It's like a little aerosol can. I really did like this. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. You can get it at Ulta. You can use your coupons on it. Um, the only problem is it was such a fine mist that you couldn't really tell if you were getting it on. And so I think I overused it for that reason, but it really did work as a setting spray. And I think I will probably go back to this um, in the spring and summer because it seemed to really have worked back during the summer when I was using it with keeping all the makeup intact. A product from Skin Food, I was not a fan of this. This is the rice mask, wash off mask. I didn't, I didn't care for this. I won't repurchase this. Um, yeah, I just didn't really, I don't know. I just didn't like the texture of it. It was like a cream that it had these chunks of rice particles in it. I just, I didn't care for it. I'm not going to repurchase that. And then for MAC, I have a cleansing oil um, for makeup. This does really good with getting the makeup off. Um, it doesn't irritate the eyes. It rinses really good. It kind of, when you put water to it, it turns into a little bit of a milky consistency and then it just rinses off very nice. And this is a good product to use, especially in the winter time, so you're not drying out your skin. Another product that I really enjoyed, and this is the Murad um, Essential Sea Cleanser. And I would use this of the morning as my morning cleanse. Very much enjoyed this. It had little particles of, um, I think it was like some kind of citrus. And so it was a little bit exfoliating, not harsh at all. But I did like that and would consider repurchasing that. But I have some other products that I'm using right now. So I don't need a cleanser. 
Um, my makeup remover wipes, I talk about these in every empties. These are from the Apple brand and I get these at Big Lots. Oh, this, this was a sad day when this was empty. This is from Belief and it's the, um, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Not the Aqua Balm, but the Moisturizing Balm. Um, this was a perfect nighttime moisturizer for me. Oh, and I, I could kick myself for not buying the big tub of this during the Sephora Beauty Insider event. But I didn't because I was like, well, I have some other moisturizers that I need to use, but I'm already missing this. Um, so I don't know. I may have to pay full price for it. But anyway, then from Timeless, I finished the 20% C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. Um, kind of on the fence with this. I don't know if I really seen just dramatic results from this, from a vitamin C. I just, I don't know. I'm going to be trying another vitamin C. I'm trying a new vitamin C right now. I'm not gonna talk about it. And then I'm gonna be getting a new one in December. It's on back order. And then I'm gonna kind of compare, but this was okay, but I think I would, I mean, this was very inexpensive. <sighs> But I think I really like the Drunk Elephant one better than this. But anyway, it's just the Drunk Elephant is so expensive. A product that I did enjoy that I know I liked, and this was from um, Myzon, and it's the Snail Repairing Foam Cleanser with Snail. This was a wonderful cleanser. I would use this at night as my second cleanse, and it just took a small, small, small amount of this, and the only thing was it is a foam cleanser, so um, right now during the winter, I don't want to use a foam cleanser, but for the summertime, I really did enjoy that, and snail um, secretion is wonderful for the skin for anti-aging have a tried and true product that I've been used using for years and years and years, and it's the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. I use the number three. I use this morning and evening. I take off my makeup, I do a cleanse, and then I will use this just to make sure that everything's off and that all the dead skin is off, and then go in with my um, normal skincare regime and swear by that, have used it for years definitely would repurchase. Then I have an eye product from Skin SkinCeuticals, and this is the AGE Eye Complex, and it is an eye cream, and I really did enjoy this. This was, to me, seemed like it was more of a firming type eye cream, so it definitely would have to have a moisturizer on top of it. But the reason why I like this is this is probably one of the first eye creams that I've came across that's actually formulated not only for underneath the eye, but also the eyelid and up around the orbital bone. And it really helps with firming and lifting, and I would definitely repurchase that. I'm hoping that um, Derm Store for Black Friday will do some really good sales, and I can pick that up then. Deluxe size sample of one of my favorite um, hair products, hair brand, and that's Weedad. And this was the Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. Was perfect for the um, the summertime, and I would just mix this in a little bit with the moisturizing um, gel that I like from this brand, and really helped back during the summer with humidity and would definitely um, purchase the big size of that. Then I have a product from Marc Jacobs. This is a makeup item. This was called Close Up. Um, this was a limited edition product a long time ago, and it was a little three section. It had a highlighter, it had a matte bronze, and then it had a um, glowy type bronzer and it was three little strips and you can mix them all together or you can wear them separately and use that up. Can't repurchase because like I said it was limited edition. It was okay but I did finish it. I had it for a long time. Now this product I did not like. This is a Marc Jacobs uh, mascara. I don't even know what kind what one this is but I did not care for this at all. Um, 
I think it came in a kit or something. I don't know how I even acquired it, but I didn't care for it. From Dr. Brandt, I have the Glow by Dr. Brandt Invigorating Retinol Eye Cream. Um, I had this for a while. I bought it on clearance at Ulta. I would use it off and on. I wasn't consistent with it, so therefore I didn't really see any results from it. Um, I'm sure if I would have used it consistently every single night or every few nights, I probably would have seen the results that um, you would get from using this product. I don't know if I would repurchase it. I don't even know if you can buy it anymore, um, to be honest with you. So there's that. Have some um, cotton rounds. These are the Up and Up brand, um, the exfoliation ones. They were okay. Um, I guess I must have liked them because the other day when I was at talk Target, I bought another pack. So <laughs> I guess they were okay. I really liked the ones that Ulta sold until they reformulated them, and now they're not very good. A deluxe size sample of the Living Proof Curl Defining Styling Cream. I didn't care for this. I used it. I like the one that's from Weedad a lot better, so I wouldn't purchase that. Then the last two products that I have is from Laura Geller, and these were the Balance and Brighten um, balance and bronze foundation and bronzer in fair both of these were in fair half of it was the bronzer half of it was the um, the foundation um, I didn't really care for that format because it was really hard to use just half of it at a time anyway so what I ended up doing and the reason why there's two of these is that I ended up um, depotting them out of this and then crushing them up and making them into a loose powder and then I just added them into my loose powder box with my um, Cody Airspun powder and that's how I'm using it up so I wouldn't purchase those duos like that again I don't even know where I even got these I've had them for a while and they were kind of getting a little bit dried out too so anyway that's how I acquired two of those. So that is it for this month's empties. I hope that you enjoyed and I will be talking to you soon. Um, if I happen to not put up another video this week, then I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving and um, enjoys your time with your family and friends or however you celebrate. Anyway, just enjoy and enjoy the day. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.